Hi, my name is Daniel Flynn, um, and I'm Chief Exec of the YMCA. And I've entered, I'm entering the vlog world, which is worrying me, because um, I think, you know, the energy of youth and the wisdom of age, I'm 54, so I'm far too old for vlogs and things like that. Today, I want to start this vlog by uh, talking about the City Youth Ambassadors Network. Um, I'm 54, so I'm getting old, and I can see things coming around the mountain again. You think, here we go. Um, and we need young people. We need young people to energise us. We need young people to challenge us. After all, young people in the future are going to be the President, the Prime Minister, etc, etc. Um, so they're more important than choosing my care home, aren't they, really? Um, but the Youth Ambassadors Network is 12 young people who've been through almost a um, sort of Dragon's Den process. And what we're trying to do is get them mentors, get them leadership, and actually act out older people's mentoring them, but younger voice. So hopefully we're going to set up a shadow board here, we're going to set up some level of youth governance here. That sounds a bit flashy, doesn't it? But the real bottom line for those young people is, and from the YMCA point of view, is their view, is their thoughts, is their words, manifest in the business plan we're going to write for 2020 and beyond. So that's what I'm really interested in as a chief exec. This City Youth Empowerment Network, I'd ask you, if you're watching this, to give them opportunity. The only difference between rich kids and poor kids is actually life chances. So what we're trying to do with the Ambassador Network is get those kids to be to lead and get them to see people in power, people in agency, that means the state, actually need to start listening to those young people. We can improve the education system by listening to young people. We can improve the economy by listening to young people. We can prove, improve future strategy by listening to young people. Um, so we just need to empower them and stop patronising young people and children. Um, oh, that's very nice. We've got to give the world away because they're going to grab it anyway. And it's really interesting with this e eco business, how all the boring old adults my age are quite threatened by young people speaking out. It's really interesting, isn't it? How, why are all the people who are anti Greta, um, old blokes like me, who are threatened by what she says? It, it fascinates me. I want to embrace what she says because as a 54 year old, I can choose to be a grumpy old man or I can use the rest of my life to be have young people mentoring me and I want to stay not young like Peter Pan because God save us from 50 year old youth workers um, what we need is to listen to their voice and listen to them empowering this city and beyond there's a big reception at Staffs University where all the uh, Odins like me or all the people in power are meeting uh, the 12 young people who are the, uh, children, uh, the Youth Ambassadors Network um, but if you listen, if you watch this vlog and you're interested, please forward it, please retweet it, please send it to where it needs to go. This is part of raising the voice of young people. And I know you're listening to Danny Flynn, who's the chief exec, who's the older person. But hopefully, over the time and these vlogs move and change, you will have young people speaking, and that's one of the outcomes you're going to get from the YMCA. We'll raise the voice of young people. Thank you for watching.